Without Sanctuary, lynching photography in America is approximately 100 photographs, postcards, and memorabilia taken from 1882 through approximately 1968. This exhibition is actually uh, owned by the National Center for Civil and Human Rights out of Atlanta, Georgia. And we had heard about this exhibition for a number of years. The board had actually been discussing having it here at the Freedom Center even before it was the Freedom Center was opened. And so it's just been in debate for many, many years and we decided this year, this time was the perfect place, the perfect time for it to come to Cincinnati. This exhibition looks at three different areas. First, it looks at looking back, which is the historical context of the lynching era. Then we talk about bearing witness, which describes what was happening during many of these lynching events. And then we talk about keeping watch, and that's the importance of keeping watch over those without sanctuary today. So specific relevancy for our visitors. There are three different sections within the exhibition where you have a chance to reflect on not only what you've seen, but how you feel about what you saw here within our exhibition. So the first reflection area is a video reflection that was created by Microsoft and the Nielsen Company, where you can do a video reflection and then send it to yourself. The second is a writing reflection where you can write in journals and those will be posted on our website or within educational materials. And then the third is an artistic reflection, which really gives you a chance to show picture or write pictures, small words, anything like that on a dry erase board. The community has responded with a lot of support. We've gotten a good deal of um, positive feedback. We have a community partners council that has been so helpful throughout this entire process. And so there's been a lot of individual support, a lot of people who have taken reflections about how important it is to bring this to Cincinnati. We really haven't had any negative feedback to speak of. Well, we hope visitors will see that it's not just the history aspect, that it's not just race relations between two different groups, but also that there is relevancy today, that there's activism that our visitors can take away, and that there's something to be learned from this exhibition, no matter who you are or where you come from.